Nigeria can only be saved by a revolution. A state whose institutions have been hijacked by criminals can no longer be saved by its own mechanisms. My name is Aisha and I do not believe in the protocols that they do in Nigeria. So I'm not standing on any existing protocol. Hello, my great and wonderful people. We welcome you once again to our today's episode of this program. And today we get some videos for our team. We want to be saying one quickly the review to you concerning the things we want to be saying if they happen right now for inside this country, Nigeria. I beg, pay attention to these very videos. We want to be saying one the review to you one after the other. You get what? Now, yesterday we showcased a video to you when this would they received recently from Barista Dele Farotimi. And inside that very video of about 30 something minutes, it get where it be say if I make mention of one thing when it be say yes, one draw your attention to today. It's because we are ignoring what is sat right on top of our noses. We are deliberately pretending not to see what we are seeing. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe say this one I declare evidence of waiting barista Dele Farotimi they talk about say with the pretend not to see waiting the very clear kuro kuro before our very eye. Okay, you see all of them. This one are the old politicians of today. The one will be say he start this race right from 1960 till now. When he be say they talk say they will still save this nation Nigeria. Now all of the day inside this bus together, inside this house, you they see them, including Peter Obi. You tell me, we when they say they talk, say Peter Obi will fit save Nigeria. Tell me, if this man become president of Nigeria today, who he want fights? The people when they say they eat and dine with. Then you tell me, who among all these politicians when they say you not day for inside this bus when you deceive so? Then. Remove one from inside to say, now this one, now it will come outside, could come fight these people. You see, the reason why they say, waiting Barista Dele Farotimi, they talk, now clear evidence of how it be say, yes, we are supposed to wake up to this very understand. They say, among all these politicians, no one when it be say, be sent, or no one will feel rescue this Nigeria, apart from the singular world when it be say, two people, now it don't they push this very movement right from the beginning of my relation with it and also this same barista Dele Farotimi, a clear way for all of us to come out of this very darkness and waiting be that way when we say that they push to us and the narratives here and again from the mouth of barista Dele Farotimi. I'll come back for more. Nigeria can only be saved by a revolution. A state whose institutions have been hijacked by criminals can no longer be saved by its own mechanisms. The judiciary is demonstrably captured. It has given more than enough evidence of its incapacity to be the last hope of the common man. That is clear. The police is as complicit as any one of us. The army is already compromised beyond. Once upon a time, it pretended to be the institution that could save Nigeria from itself. But frankly, has that institution saved itself from itself? All right, my great and wonderful people, I believe say you don't hear that very one clearly. We just say maybe we take our time out this very day to also analyze this thing in a very clearer picture to each and every one of us. May we not talk say with the pretend not to know way out for all this situation when we say we day to day. Because the more we the pretend to say we don't know, the more time they go and the more damages these people they do to this nation and to us and our children. And remember, the more we they allow these people, the more that they get grand and the more we they suffer. No way out. Nothing when EBC will feel rescue us if we not rescue ourselves. I mean, if we not decide 
to say we want to rescue ourselves. Help not they come from east, south, west, or north. They help when they say with the hope for, for outside. If they within us, now we be ourselves, the instrument of help to ourselves. All right, I'll leave that for you to do for us for the comment section, even as I take you down to this other video. When you see what they receive from Aisha Yusufu, a human rights activist. This one, a conference, will be said for invite them to be a spokesperson. You hear with the in talk. Before the faces of all these old cargo politicians, it will shock you to know, say, people get mind and they me waiting that they talk. I'll come back for more. My name is Aisha and I do not believe in the protocol that they do in Nigeria. So I'm not standing on any existing protocol. I will say to you, I will say to you that I do not believe that people who have not done excellent jobs should be called excellent. Neither do I believe that people who have been made this honorably should be called honorable. But we talk about at the table today, we have people who have been honorable and doing excellent jobs. So I say to you all, you all are Nigerians, and no Nigerian is more Nigerian than any Nigerian. We live in a country today where some people are seen as less as citizens, and that must not happen. I'm very glad about the topic that I have today, enlightened youth and Nigeria's democracy. Hmm. Democracy is everything. A lot of us have been brought up, we've been conditioned to believe that politics is dead. But guess what? It is politics. It is true politics that the people who are having to make policies that make or our lives come into office. And therefore, every one of us, we have to be interested in politics. It's not something that you do and get away with it. Can I ask a question, please? Can I move away from here? Is that okay? Who are they? Will you still hear me? You won't be able to hear me. Uh, because I, I hear being restricted, so sometimes I don't walk around with me. But anyway, we'll make it work. You know, for, for a long time, let's, you know, do you hear the, when they say you are the future of Nigeria, right? The leaders, huh? I can move, right? You are the leaders of Nigeria. You are the future leaders. I was going to say, and yet I'm not saying that. I don't want. You are not you are not the future of tomorrow. You are not the leaders of tomorrow. You are the leaders of today. So let that come back. So every place that you find yourself, you have to take ownership. You have to be the most important thing you have capacity. And you have to have the knowledge and will to learn, unlearn, and learn. We are no longer in industrial age where what you knew, what they teach you in the school, is all you have to go through. This is the information age. You know, we are even passing the information age. We are entering the machine age, the machine era. So it really doesn't matter what you know. What really matters is how fast can you learn, on learn, and go learn. Because things are changing, and such a thing that most of us don't can't even keep up with. So I say to you, everyone who is here, who are you? Who are you? It's a question everyone must answer. And it's a question that you must sit down and ask yourself, who am I? Not what your feeling is told you who you are. Not what the society has told you who you are. Not what anyone has said you are. But in your own mind, in your own thing, you find yourself is one of the first steps to being enlightened. Because a lot of people don't find themselves. They go through the motion of society. Sometimes they want to please everyone. And at the end of the day, there is a conflict between the outside and the inside. And it is going wrong. 
So the first thing you have to do to be enlightened, sit down and ask yourself, who am I? Sometimes it can be a painful experience. Then you sit down and map out yourself. Be truthful to yourself. When you find out who you are, nobody can send you anything to you that makes you question yourself. In today's world, especially with social media, you have people insulting, abusing, attacking, right? When you begin to see, answer that question, who am I? Carry a book and write down everything. So what you do with that is that you recognize your weaknesses and your strengths. And they are all okay. You amplify your, your strength. You work on your strength. You become better with your strength. And then your weaknesses. You do a few things about them. The most important thing uh, contract it out to someone to do. I'm good at it. If you give me this mic, I can sit for 10 hours without drinking water. That's my strength. But if you tell me, Aisha, what you're saying, sit down and write your report. I will spend 10 hours. The paper is still black. But you know what? I'm okay with my weakness. Yes, I can push myself and actually write. But that's not my strength. Then why would I bother having to do that? I will simply contract it. I'll spend what I need to say. Put it in writing. You get that's how you work. And so you become a better version of yourself. And you'll say, but every one of us, there is something in us, there's a challenge, there's a skill that you have. But most times what people do is that they focus on their weakness rather than on their strength. And they keep struggling with their weakness and forget that they should need to amplify their strength. I drove in here today, I wasn't the one driving. Someone told me, I have to say, we need to come here. If I have to come here myself tomorrow, I will get off. It's one of my limits to know where people are. So what do I do? Contract me out. So that's something that everyone wants to understand. The next thing I'm going to say, of course, is that don't sell yourself short. A lot of people tell themselves short. A lot of people are afraid to do what they need to do. And they stand behind. They are shy. Remember, growing up, you were told, so don't make so much noise. It's better to be quiet and all of that. I can have it. No, it's better to be quiet. Be heard. Some people said, Aisha, why are you so loud? I said, when I leave this world, I want them to do that for I don't want to come quietly and be quiet. So that's important to me. So allow yourself to be heard. Don't tell yourself so. Go out there. Let's see what that will happen. A no. What does a no signify? It doesn't reduce who you are. You understand? It doesn't change your heart. It doesn't change your color. So if they say no, no problem. You keep going. Failure, they say, is not falling down. Failure is what? Reduce it to stand up. All right, my great and wonderful people. Sorry, say we just need to cut this video because other activities won't be seen. It's still there for our team, but won't be so we won't quickly review to you. What you will see they talk about is getting ourselves prepared for what we need to do. Get our mindset to know, see, the solution there within us. I still believe say now the same issue or topic now in Aisha Yusufu still they enlighten us about. Just concerning waiting, Barista Dele Farotimi start to the review to us from the beginning. And also coupled with the facts of that very video, when basically we see all the old cargoes, when it basically they try to point one or the other as savior of the present day politics. All right. I will equally take you down to this other video when basically they receive from Peter Obi, when basically we they see as savior of today. I beg, mind our words. We're not there against Peter Obi. We love Peter Obi as at least now instead they different among others. It tends of the way when we say they review to us the solutions to our problems, right? If they very vocal and not be only they vocal, if they very accurate to the problem and solutions, right? He also let us know, see, if you do this one, it will feel counter this one. And if you do this one, it will feel resolve this one, 
right? Different from every other politicians. Only be said they're not even fit come outside to speak to us concerning our present problem and the solution. When it be say it will for fit bring out light from that very issue. Even though say they don't even do it at all, make the equality explain to us how the problem they come and their way out. You understand? Now, waiting make us love Peter Obi night be that very one. But in the other way round, no, me say Peter Obi will fit solve the problem of Nigeria. You know why? Because if they are among them, you know, fit fight what you be part of. No, it no fit happen. It never happened before. It no will happen now. You understand me? For you to fight something, it must totally be say you not be part of that thing. You be antagonist of that very thing. For you to say you'll be part of and you want the fight and now lie you the talk, that will definitely consume you. Now, it be the issue of Peter Obi when be see a lot of us not understand. All right, I'll quickly still leave you. May you listen to Peter Obi concerning the way when we say it tell make us understand. See, the federal government of Nigeria know they tell us truth concerning this first subsidy. When we say it they break everywhere down today, even to the extent as we talk now. Food don't pass 1,000 naira per liter. We'll come back for more. You can imagine my fascination and appreciation of what I can call this scholarly work of this great man. Like I said before, that I taught the library, I could see the emptiness of today because none of us today is keeping such records and everything. I could see a great work of a great man. And considering that this man, Ghani lived for Nigeria. He never lived for all the vices we are seeing today of tribe, of religion, of gender. He lived for all, because he believed that we all won. And worked and struggled for Every common Nigerian, for benefit of all, we bring all these vices, introduce them into our life and politics today because we have decided to live a life where competition, merit, capacity and capability means nothing. So we introduce the vices. Kai did not live like that. He lived a life where competence Merit, capacity, and capability meant a lot. Compassion for the society. And that's why I use it to say, can we revise what we're seeing today to what it's doing? Like I did ask earlier, have you ever been to the market and bought Gary cheaper because of your tribe? Or bought bread cheaper because of your tribe? Or can you go to the filling station and buy cheaper fuel because of your tribe, religion, or gender? No. So we must remove it and live like a family. Love each other, caring for each other. This wonderful work, I sincerely appreciate and will always support. Okay, while Mrs. Bill Baku was showing you around, you saw a newspaper talking about Ghani contesting the hike in the price of petrol. Many years after, we are on the same spot. And I was shocked. I said, hey, the price then was actually under 100 naira. If he was living today, I'm sure that would have been enough to send him to the hospital. Because he wouldn't even have, he wouldn't even contest. So let me take your reaction to the recent hike in, in petroleum pump price in Nigeria. What, what, what are your reactions? Well, my take in it is that first, is that the government is not telling us the truth. What we want to know is the truth. When we said we are going to remove subsidy, Nigerians wants to know, this thing we are removing, what next, what improvement? If you say you're going to remove this, where are you going to put it? How many classrooms did we put what we saved from here in? How many hospitals? How many primary health cares did we use? So we need to say, we're removing this. We are replacing this with this. But what we saw is that that was removed. Things got worse. 
and no other benefit is coming from anywhere. I campaigned and said I'll remove subsidy. First, I'll keep saying it. The criminality within the subsidy can remove 50% of it. The remaining 50, we would have removed it with a clear sign of where we're going to take the benefit to. Thank you. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe say you don't hear everything yourself. Yes, people labor with vision. When ABC, yes, is set the little light when ABC, all of us, they see for this nation today. But the present politicians, now they be the issue when ABC, yes, if they worry each and every one of us. All right, now so we're talking concerning this matter for this very moment. We'll leave you to share your own opinion with us in the comment section. And not equally forget to help us like, share, and leave your comment for us for the comment section as we draw the line here. We'll see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.